Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you another new stuff video that features a total of 16 brand new pairs of shoes that have showed up over the course of the last couple of days. And what's crazier is that I have more stuff on the way that should be here in the next couple of days. So lots and lots of new content for the channel. Gonna give you guys a look at what is upcoming basically for reviews over the next month or so. And of course, as always with these videos, down below in the comment section, let me know which of these products you'd like to see get reviewed first. Whatever gets the most amount of suggestions or I guess requests is what I will end up doing right away. With that said, if you guys are interested in some behind the scenes content in terms of when this stuff shows up and what I'm doing on a daily basis, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is at sr4ujosh. You'll see it on screen. It'll be linked down below in the description of this video. So if that's something that interests you, be sure to follow me there. Without further ado though, let's take a look at what has arrived. So you can see it here on the ground in front of me. It is 16 pairs, I think. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, I was right. Okay, I just wanna make sure I wasn't saying 16 and it was 15 or something like that. But we'll start off with the first pair. And this is a pair that I'm personally very excited about and I'm sure a lot of you guys are as well. This is the low cut version of the new Phantom 3, the new Hypervenom model from Nike. $250 retail versus the $300 for the DF mid cut version. But obviously we've never gotten a full fly knit upper in a low cut variation from Nike before. This is a first. So I'm really, really excited to try these out. Look out for a video on these very, very soon. And depending on when I actually upload this new stuff video, the video for this might already be up. So if it is, I'll leave a pop-up on screen. But really, really excited about those. Next to those, I have the new Hypervenom Fatal 3 DF. So this is the first takedown model in the new Hypervenom line. And it's really interesting in that they've completely changed up the upper and now features a variation of Nike skin, as you guys can see. A lot different than previous Nike skin uppers that we have seen from Nike in that it is a mesh-based synthetic. It has some kind of flywire or cable system for the actual laces themselves. So that's pretty interesting as well. Of course, it is mid-cut. Features a new sole plate and stud pattern. Not sure if it's exactly the same sole plate, but even though it's a takedown model, the retail price is quite steep at $170 US. So you almost have to treat that like another high-end shoe rather than a takedown model. Because at near $200, you can buy a lot of different high-end shoes. So really interested to get more time in those as well. And look out for a review relatively soon. Next to those, I have another brand new model. This one from Puma. This is the Evo Speed 17. SLS. So this is not the version that is only expected to last 10 games. This does feature the SL bottom and of course stud pattern, but it features a much more durable upper. It's supposed to be a more durable variation of the shoe in general. Normally it would retail for $200, but these are actually already on sale for about $130. They're super, super light and I will go over the details. The upper does seem to be a little bit different than what we've seen from previous SLS variations, even though, oh, I dropped it, even though the bottom is the same. So we'll keep going here. Next to those, I have another brand new shoe. This is the under armor clutch fit 3.0 so you guys may have seen in my other new stuff video i don't think i put a video up as of yet i had the clutch fit 3.03d which was limited to 98 pairs worldwide this is the standard version of the clutch fit so you can see the upper is quite a bit different this does feature something more along the lines than what we got from previous generations but obviously with a little bit of a different pattern for the actual material itself it does have though the new sole plate and stud pattern in this particular colorway in white and black with uh, this kind of I guess black, almost paint splatter, cement-like pattern, I just think looks really, really good. Definitely a very simple colorway, but uh, really excited to try those out because the Clutch Fit line is probably my personal favorite from Under Armour at the moment. Next to those, I have something that's also brand new. This is not only just the new colorway of the Superfly 5 as part of the Radiation Flare Pack, this is the anti-clog version. So. Uh, this is the first time we've actually got an anti-clog ver version uh, of a Mercurial. So we have it now for the Superfly 5. Going to be doing a review on these. Unfortunately for the anti-clog stuff, guys, it's not something that I've really been able to test as of yet. Just because I haven't really had any kind of soft ground environment to play on in this area. But this does have that new anti-clog sole plate with, of course the Superfly 5 upper. So look out for a video on these as well. I am gonna be getting the regular firm ground variation of the Radiation Flare Pack Superfly 5 as well. That's on the way, so stay tuned for that. Next to those, I have the limited edition 
WR250 Hypervenom finish. So this is the Wayne Rooney uh, limited edition Hypervenom finish, uh, celebrating his 250 goals for Manchester United, which is a pretty crazy achievement. And of course, this is the finish, not the new Phantom 3 um, variation of the shoe. Um, I think Nike expected him to hit 250 a lot earlier than he ended up doing, but this ended up coming out. Limited edition release, $225 retail price, pretty much sold out everywhere at this point, but I will be making a video going over all the details on those relatively soon. We'll go back over to the left side here. You can see I have the alternate colorway variation of the Pure Control, the 17 Plus Pure Control from Adidas. Uh, this has the white toe, and then of course the blue and the pink throughout the rest of the upper. Definitely a really interesting colorway of the Pure Control. Next to those, I have the Women's Radiation Flare Pack Nike Mercurial Superfly 5. So I will go over the sizing conversion for this particular shoe because despite it being a women's shoe, the only thing that is different is the sizing, not actually the shape or the fit. If you just do a sizing conversion, you can pretty much have a women's Superfly and have it fit like the men's variation. So this is obviously a lot more subtle, a completely different colorway than what you see in the lime green ones over there, the men's version. These are actually really nice with kind of a light gray, a darker gray, some white, and then of course this light blue color. Really big fan of how these look, so I will be making a video on those. And then next to that I have the Obra 2, also in the women, the new women's colorway. So you can see again, you have the light gray, the dark gray, and then this interesting green color for the sole plate as well as at the collar. Next to those, I have the new men's radiation flare pack Obra 2, which is in a much brighter kind of orange color with some red uh, kind of accents throughout. Really, really interesting colorway, very bright in person. And then we have the men's radiation flare Nike Mercurial Vapor 11. So uh, basically a neon green and volt yellow combination with the black accent. Very simple colorway. I like the fact that it is almost a solid color for the upper. Something we haven't really seen for the Mercurials all that much. Looks really, really good on the Vapor. So expect a video on those. Next to those, we have a very, very bright colorway of the Legend 6 in, of course, as part of the Radiation Flare Pack. Pretty much solid volt yellow all the way through, which I don't know everybody's a fan of, but these actually look really good in person, with, of course, the black accents. So look out for a video on those. And then finally, moving on to the back row, we have the Blue Blue Blast Adidas Copa 17.1. Really nice colorway, straightforward in that you do have all the blue for the leather and the tongue area, the black Adidas stripes, and then the white at the heel as well as for the sole plate. So really, really nice looking colorway in my opinion. Has that slightly kind of shiny effect to the leather itself. Next to those, we have the Blue Blast A17.1 Prime Knit. Um, so you can see that this does actually have a little bit of a different coloring to that of the Pure Control itself. Especially the blue at the toe, this definitely seems a little bit darker. And if you can see the two side by side, I thought this was interesting. They're not exactly the same color. One actually seems a little bit lighter than the other. So I'm not sure if that's a mistake or if they're all like that. But of course I will be talking about it in more detail in my review on that particular shoe. Next to those, we have the Blue Blast. Pure Chaos from Adidas, the X16 Plus. And you can see this is pretty interesting in that you get the blue at the toe, the white Adidas logo, and then it fades to pink. I can't say that I'm personally all that crazy about this particular colorway, but I know a lot of you guys have been asking to see a video, so that is coming soon. And finally, and I believe when this video goes up, there already will be a review up on my channel, but they weren't featured in a new stuff video previously. This is the Blue Blast um, Ace 16 Plus Pure Control Ultra Boost Sneaker. So this was a limited edition release. The video I believe is already up, so I'll leave a pop-up on screen if you want to go ahead and check it out. But basically, a Pure Control inspired sneaker that of course features the bottom of the very popular Ultra Boost running shoe. Very cool shoe, very, very limited. And that is pretty much it, guys. 16 brand new pairs. All of this is going to be going up on the channel soon. So let me know down below in the comments which of this stuff you'd like to see go up first. Whatever gets the most amount of requests is definitely what I will get to doing. That's pretty much it though, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to support it with a like, and I will continue doing the new stuff series. Again, follow me on Instagram. All my social media is linked down below in the description. If you have any questions, leave that down below in the comments as well, and I definitely will get an answer out to you. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media information linked down below in the description as well. Other than that, guys, I think I already said that. Other than that, though, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.